Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is the Pixel <laughs> Partners here, and welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney 2. When we left off, oh, Mame we, Momi. We, Mame Mo met the witness. Mame Momi is giving his test to Mame Momi. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a, my Mame Mo testimony. That didn't oh, even God. work. <laughs> My testimony, whatever. Fuck it. Anyways, we got we got questions for you, so I will. But I've got one condition. What? What condition? I will not be a lone wolf witness today. Call in the previous witness, Soseki Natsume. Soseki? So oh yeah. According to my ma my memo, memo the Mame author. Memo, memo. Listen. Uh, he's throwing that already at me. It hasn't even been a minute, dude. I'm not ready <laughs> for these puns. That author is hiding a grave secret. What? What? I I was not prepared for this. Nobody gets to keep secrets but me. That's yet another mom and momism. <sighs> Very well. The court accepts the first request to call in the previous witness. Bailiff, bring him in. What is Soseki hiding? That's a good question. Besides his sanity somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why am I up here? <laughs> what, what are we doing up here? Oh, God, I hate this place. <laughs> I asked that Brit for an interview, but she refused. So I gave up and left the hut. After that, I saw the murder through the screen wall. The witnesses rushed to the scene. The detective saw that she still had a pulse. So he ran off, called for help. At that point, the author here bent down and get, asked that Brit a grave question. He didn't testify to this, but I'm extraordinarily ready to explicitly expose him. <laughs> what? The victim? She managed to regain consciousness? Well, he's not wrong. And this witness asked the victim a question? He's not wrong, indeed. Yeah, yeah. The victim gave a clear reply too, didn't she? Her reply was an accusation. I hadn't heard of this. Why didn't anyone tell me? Hey, you pumpkin author. Why didn't you say anything about it? <laughs> it couldn't even be called a conversation. Indeed, I did question that British woman. But she was having trouble speaking, and her consciousness was fading. Now, defense, begin your cross-examination. Have no mercy. Drag the truth into the light. I will, your honor. The victim accused Howery? What on earth actually happened in that hut? That is a wonderful question. Okay. Let's talk. Let's chat. All right. So you gave up and left. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whoops. An interview? Yeah, I want to ask her about the murder from nine months ago. The murder of Dr. John H. Watson, you mean? Instead of bothering to say, nice to meet you, I'm Mama Mummy. I got right to the chase. Let's be real, why did you kill Mr. Watson? That's quite the greeting. The key is to be as direct and casual as if you were asking for what's dinner, it was for dinner tonight. An old sea journalist drilled that lesson right into my skull. With the and power drill. How did she respond to that question? She didn't. <laughs> she said only one thing. A touch of mystery makes a woman more beautiful. Honestly, what a witch. <laughs> I had no choice but to leave. I guess he went to bed hungry that night. Hey. <laughs> the keys to leave directly and casually, like your ballroom dancing. That was yet another lesson from the senior reporter. At the cell the screen of all, then it's actually the scene. Despite her rejection, you certainly were tenacious. Oh, yeah. Tenacity and passion are like children to me. Oh, shit. I missed that. Even at false retreat, I watched for a moment of negligence during which the big scoop blooms. Should, we, should you check it just to make sure it's not I guess I'll have, to, I'll have to remember what the button is. I think it's this. Yeah. That's just how I am. Okay. Ah, well, I could be checking. The witness did get a scoop. And it's quite unfortunate for that backwater student. 
But as a result, we managed to drag this witness to the stand. And because I've been dragged out, I'll neither run nor hide. Of course you won't. Please continue to testify regarding what you saw. Leave it to my memo me. My voice will ring throughout the courtroom. God. The detective saw you still had a pulse. I ran a cover up. So cute. <laughs> Does Osaki stay inside the hut? Oh, yeah. Get a lot of this guy. <laughs> he was shaking all over. His eyes were darting all over. His mustache was twitching all over. <laughs> I couldn't help it. When I lived in London, I learned one thing. Go straight to jail. <laughs> and I knew they tried to risk me on the spot. The very thought I'd be drowning in a sea of sweat. Even my breath failed me. He's getting flashbacks. <laughs> Poor guy. He's been traumatized by his time in the British Empire. Understandable. Understandable. Lost in the depths of despair, I quietly recited a Buddhist prayer. Oh, greeted is vain. That is the enlightened state of mind. Truly, your sentiment echoes through the halls of the Supreme Court. But you're in for a big treat, friends. Here comes the best part. All right, at that point, the author bent down and asked the Brit a grave question. What was that question? Why don't we hear it from the horse's mouth? Well, now with the Mr. Literary Giant. Uh, uh, hey, Literary Pumpkin! What did you ask that poor British lady as she lay dying? Uh, uh, I. I was playing with the crabs on the beach and building a mountain of sand. He's making a sand castle! What a beautifully tranquil life you live! <laughs> but then, I heard a scream for help that was ramshackle from that ramshackle hut! Was it Howry? When I rushed to the scene, I found the victim on the ground defending opposite her. I then called Detective Hosanaga for help. Out of nowhere, that dying Brit let out a groan. I was so shocked, I thought she had already passed on. Then what did you ask her? Who done it? Uh, it? How did she respond? As I told you earlier, she did not respond. Except... <laughs> He's shaking so hard. <laughs> he is. This won't end well for you if you muddle words at the witness stand. Tell us what happened at the crime scene and don't you dare conceal a thing. Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor! Who done it? I asked the victim, but I received no response. Press it. But I thought... You asked who the culprit was? They often say, task may be a moment's shame to remain ignorant, a lifelong one. Ever since my repeated jailings by those Brits, I've slowly made up my mind. Never again shall I be falsely accused because I'm strayed from the truth. And yet the victim did not respond. Knowing that woman, she ignored me just because I'm a Japanese man with a slouch and a mustache. <laughs> So Sake really has come to hate Britain. I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> With what he wrote in his reports, I'd say it would be not hard not to. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, she couldn't have been ignoring him. Isn't that right, Mr. Literary Giant? Huh? Oh, yes, but I suppose she did react. Oh. Did she grab the pen or something? Hmm. She raised one quivering finger as though she were pointing toward the defendant. Hmm. Interesting. Giselle Brett pointed at Hayori? Soseki, are you sure? Well, um... This is a bit difficult to say. When we entered the hut... The British lady was sprawled on the ground, with the young student standing opposite her. When he asked just who had stabbed her, she... She lifted a trembling finger with the last of her strength, putting it at the back of the hut. And the only one in that general direction was that young... Oh, that's you! Oh. Why weren't and... you reading? Sorry, I... I, 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 <laughs> I, I guess I didn't expect it to be... <laughs> and the only one in that general direction was that young student. Unless she was pointing at the wall where Which there was a knife hole in! Yeah. N no! Witness, why did you not testify about this before? You, you, you have no idea. No, 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 as they say in English. 
Please keep your testimony in Japanese. It is true that the British lady pointed to the back of the hut, but her finger was shaking violently, and I was shaking quite violently as well. And now that I think about it, her finger wasn't pointing directly at the young student. In fact, I would go as far as say it was pointing at her at all. Rather, it seemed to be pointing at the hut's wall where not a soul stood. So your memory is as vague as where she was pointing? <clears throat> yes! Indeed, vague. Perhaps as vague as I am being. Your Honor, with this, everything has become clear. Just as her consciousness was slipping from her grasp, so was her finger. But she was unquestionably accusing the defendant. How do I know, you ask? Because there was nobody but the defendant in the direction she pointed in. Not true. It's more than clear that none but the defendant could have killed her. That does appear to be the case. If no other possibility exists, I'm afraid we can only come to one conclusion. But a possibility does exist. No! Mm. No! Ouchie. <laughs> I've already got a headline ready. Attractive attorney blunders beautifully. It'll be an extra in 92.5. This is a quite difficult situation, Susano. 92, that's big. <laughs> If you're unable to present evidence, pointing to the true killer, this trial will come to a swift end. But, but there's no way we can do that! We don't even know how the crime was committed in the first place! It is not a question of can or cannot. We must do it. Recall everything that has been revealed thus far. All of it is examined, all questions asked. There's no doubt that a clue must be hidden somewhere within. The moment the crime occurred... Earlier in the defendant lobby, didn't Howry say something about that? That British lady was listening to me from the seat of the back of the hut. And the next moment, she was standing up, though a bit unsteady on her feet. And then she just collapsed right in front of me. There was a small knife stabbed into her back. How was the victim stabbed in that closed-off hut? There must be an answer to this problem among the information we've been, we've heard so far. It appears the defense has no rebuttals to offer. Fought back what I've done with such a baby face. You fought valiantly. In that case, I shall deliver the final verdict. Whoa, 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 buddy. This is it. The crossroads of fate. If I can't establish anything here, it's all over. If the killer stabbed the victim, then where was he standing? And how did he do it? Oh, we can prove it. Yeah. Igiati, bitch. Mm hmm? Huh? What? No. Your Honor, don't bring down that gavel yet. Uh, no. What now, defense? No, no, you go ahead and do that. No, just, you, just bang that thing. The just, defense just is prepared. Oh, shit. I'm prepared to show you what the victim used her last ounce of strength to point toward. Oh, shit. Here and now, I will present a new possibility. A, a new possibility? Ridiculous, some other possibility exists. So it does, you little bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's only one more person who could have committed the crime. She learned that from Naruto too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but, what absurdity? The victim was pointing at that one person. With her last act of strength, she raised her weak, trembling finger to do so. <laughs> Nonsense. It's nothing but a basis claim. I'll give it a base soon enough. Oh. Very well, if the defense is firm in his conviction, and the court demands proof. Attorney, Ryuto Naohodo. Yes, sir. The court requests specific indication using this diagram. When the victim was stabbed, where was the killer hiding? Oh. Right behind the stool. Right about here. <laughs> So long as I bear the name Naruhodo, I simply can't retreat. The culprit who stabbed the victim must have been right here. You mean... They were outside the beach hut? Oh, what's this? Order, order, order! But sir, attorney, that doesn't make any shred of sense. And, and anyway, that's where I was standing. Uh-huh. Nobody outside the hut could have been that gal's culprit. I mommy mean it. Indeed. And if the killer really was outside the hut, as you claim, 
There was no way for him to have stabbed the victim. Actually, there was a way. Huh? Furthermore, there's evidence showing that this method was used. You, you lie. You, you useless backward. Shut the fuck up. It seems the defense has claimed far exceeds the limits of our imaginations. Now, defense, the court demands that you present further proof. What method would allow someone outside of the hut to stab the victim? What method? I mean, I was just going to go for... The why is there Why is there a blank spot there? Oh. Oh, wait, no, let's go in a circle. Okay, that <laughs> confused me. Usually it doesn't have that little... No, it doesn't yeah. preview more of it, so that's different for this one. But... I mean, the only thing I can really think of would be the first photo. Well, actually, no, because the the where it sh where it shows the 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 little like slit. But I think it's thing. asking for the method, and I think afterward they're gonna want proof that this happened. So I the mean, we'll method? go. Yeah, saying what method would allow someone outside of the hut to stab the victim? So I'm wondering if we should use this photo. Because this photo proves that you can open up the reading to have access to inside the HUD, essentially. I and guess. then when they ask proof that that actually happened, then we can show the, the picture with the little slit in it. Yeah, I guess. Because... Unless the, it's the other way around, but yeah. I don't... I, I think... <laughs> nope. Yes. I presented that evidence pretty boldly. Did I say Evans? Evidence. <laughs> why did I choose that one? I'm not sure I know why. I told you! Dang it. Tony, are you trying to see if this reveals how the victim was stabbed? If it does, I would be a very fortunate man! Whoops. Those of us not living in delusion know that the strokes of fortune don't come out of nowhere. Dude, I told you it doesn't make sense. I should have claimed if someone stabbed the victim from outside the hut, traces of that action should remain somewhere. What traces were left in the cabin? The slit, I told you! Okay, it just seemed like, because the judge made it seem like it was a two-part thing, I'd like so. another try, please. No. All right, we'll do the right one now. This is one of those instances where you should have listened to me, dear. I'm sorry. But this is the photo of the crime scene. If you look right here, it should be plain to see. There's something here that reveals that the crime was committed from outside the cabin. Hey, Ziff, I don't see anything like that. And neither does anyone else here. Well, you need to get new glasses then. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because I think a certain someone can. Interesting. We'll have to request further indication from the defense. What part of this photograph backs up your theory? Right there. Take a look right here. There's a slit in the hut's reed screen wall, almost as if a blade was thrust into it. I... I don't see it! The great out you see no such thing! It's not wrong to say that the crime scene was closed in by walls. But those walls weren't built... Those walls were built as a mesh, so a dagger could easily be pushed through. It can't be! Oh, but it can, your honor. There's no doubt that the culprit stabbed her from outside of the hut. Oh! <laughs> and there's only one person who could have done so. After all, only one person was outside the hut when the crime was committed. Hit him on a mommy, it must have been you. And you no. pretty much just straight up gave away that, hey, oh. you were the only one out there. You can't even take that back. No! Oh. Oh. No! Da, 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 da. Dude, it's I'm invisible. I, I am so appalled I can hardly speak. Look at this photograph carefully. The victim clearly he, fell in the... He said, look at this photograph. <laughs> the victim clearly fell in the very middle of the hut. Oh, do you mean to say that the dagger was thrown at her? What do you... That wouldn't have been necessary. What do you mean? Wow, you're dumb. Okay, hmm? the defendant testified about what happened just before the incident. I questioned her in that beach hut. She just sat in the chair in the back, smiling as though nothing was wrong. Remember? A chair? Now let's refer to the photograph again. The slit in the wall. 
matches up perfectly where someone's back would be when sitting on the chair. Oh, the, then the victim. While she was sitting in the chair, she was stabbed through the wall. Stabbed through the wall. Ah! And you're to blame, mommy, mommy. Oh, I'll stop. <laughs> Out of reflex, Giselle Brett then stood up. But before she could speak a word, she fell to the ground. She fell right in front of the defendant at that. And there you have it. That is the truth of the events inside the beach hut. <sighs> Cat got your tongue. Should I take this as an admission of your crime? No. No! You can tell he was not anticipating us to no. guess that. That's enough! Seems the witness is willing to acknowledge his crime. The court believes that we have finally reached the truth of this case. The truth of the defendant, however immersed for me, is not guilty! I'm I waiting for him to interject. Finally! Where's the interjection? I finally got him to confess! I mean, he hasn't confessed anything, but... I've been so proud of you, my dear. I, it can't be. Was I? The great Daksuchi Ochi deluded all along. This sprout had been brought hope to my poor desolate sacred land. But that hope was all a lie? I dare not believe it. The court will not recognize any further debate. We will now hand down the final verdict to the defense. There it is. I was waiting yeah. for it. There was no breakdown yet. I knew we ain't finished. Mm-mm. <laughs> well, isn't this lovely? Is this, then, the summit of our great empire's law? The Supreme Court's ultimate ruling? You oppressed a good-natured man and frame him for murder. It's an outrage, to be sure. B but you can't deny that she was stabbed from outside the hut. And you were the only one who could do so. It's been proven rather sound logic, if you ask me. Is that the problem? Where she was stabbed from? Oh, he's like, well, what was my motive? <laughs> at this point, I don't see how that matters. Uh, at this point? How and where was that lady stabbed? Bah! He's Not even the, the fact that she was stabbed matters at this point. Because this trial... is already mama morphing into something marvelous! Like, what, what the hell is this guy talking <laughs> he about? Behind the, it's like, oh, there's a camera there. <laughs> what are you even talking about? Everything's changed, my dear scholar. And it's all thanks to none other than you. Huh? Witness, explain yourself. Not necessary, my friend. Just remember the poison. The, the poison? How about a quick interview with Sir Professor over here? How do you respond to the rumors of a dangerous poison being stolen from your lab? That poison was used on the victim, wasn't it? Well, yes, the constriction of a pupil does imply that she was poisoned. You're not going to believe what that means, ladies and gentlemen. She was already poisoned before she got stabbed. Huh? Judging by the state of her pupils, yes, that w that's what that means. If she was already dead, the poison wouldn't have taken effect. More brilliant reporting from the capital city's great newsman. Precisely right. Who stabbed who in the back doesn't matter to anyone. Because it was actually poison that ruled the last moments. Um. But, but if he had dipped the tip of the blade in poison. But there was no poison on the blade. But <laughs> Did you already forget, my little country bumpkin? During the last recess with the assistance of Professor Mikotoba's research lab, it was proven that the blade has no traces of the stolen poison. Ugh. So, Sir Attorney, that tantalizing truth that you so proudly proved. It was so far removed from the core of the case that it just might be the scoop of the century. Mind if I put your face in the humor section? Ooh. <laughs> ha! Uh, no! Keep this going, you'll be in the obituary column, you hear me? Uh, what? <laughs> Order, order, order in the court. But, but explain this 
How did the poison enter the victim's body? Simplest method would be if it was ingested via the mouth. Ingested? Check the photograph again at the crime scene. It's a bottle of carbonated water on a wine glass on the stand. Perhaps the poison was mixed in her drink. Someone had her drink. No, someone had her drink the po Oh. The poison. I was, the poison. I was thinking of the drink as, <laughs> like, her her drink. Like, her glass. So, I'm like, someone had her drink, and I'm like, what? That makes no sense. Yeah. Poison. Giselle's poison. The poison for, for Giselle. Giselle's poison. That poison? Oh, yeah. That poison. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Oh, look at that valley of visage. You're bored for the camera, baby. Ugh. But no matter how adorably he glared me, I won't back down. Because there's one man alone in the world. Mame Momi himself. He's the only man that couldn't have poisoned her. It's already been proven. Uh, no, there's poison in the pen. Yeah. H how can you say that? My dear boy, you forget things quite quickly. But it was all you. You alone proved my innocence. Uh, I did? How? Oh, look at those shifty eyeballs. You're bored for the camera, baby. I mean it. Can you stop calling me baby? <laughs> Very well. Seems a verdict at this point would be premature to say the least. Hence, I must order the witness to testify again. Oh yeah, good stuff. Put that fabulous beard to work. Uh, what makes it impossible for you to have poisoned the victim? Explain the basis for your claim to the court. One manly man, Momi, the lone wolf journo. He has never, nor will ever, run or hide. That's just my mimosa at work. You were hiding when you stabbed her. You know that, right? <laughs> For just a second, I thought I had him, but now my success has disappeared into the darkness. Just where is this trial going next? I want to point out a problem that I have with what's going on here. Are we going to be using the region on the poison in the pen to be like, hey? Oh, uh, that's absolutely, well, that's what we're going to. But I want to prove a little problem here that makes me question, um, I'll question the methods of this time period. Why? So let's get this right. So let's say, okay, Giselle was poisoned beforehand. Mm -hmm. So are we going to just brush off the fact that he was like, oh, it doesn't matter that you proved I stabbed her because she was already dying. Who cares if it was attempted murder because she was already dying because of the poison. My knife didn't, my knife didn't kill her. It was the poison. We completely just brushed off the fact that he admitted that he's the only person that could have stabbed her in the back because poison went there first. We're just going to brush off the fact that he's pretty much saying, oh, sure, I stabbed her. But the poison got her but first. But I didn't hear him say, I stabbed her. Well, the point is, that was saying... He we, said it doesn't matter if she was stabbed. <laughs> no, that's the point. But we proved pretty much that he's the only person yeah. that could have stabbed her. We proved that yes, point. Yes, calm down, Jesus. But the court literally is like, oh, it doesn't matter that you, you're, that you you're stabbed You're so <laughs> fired up right now. Well, you, see, you don't seem to be understanding what I'm saying. No. I mean, I do, but at the same time, I guess I don't, I just don't care as much as you do. <laughs> I'm just saying, we proved that he stabbed her. This is Ace Attorney, no Evan. I know. Anyways. It's, it's, Calm it's down. <laughs> oh, yeah. I stabbed her good. But that just proves my innocence. <laughs> I, oh. I, I, literally, he says he stabbed her, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter. I attempted to kill her because she was dead first. <laughs> I fucking... <laughs> Oh, if I poisoned her, why would I need to stab her? What I heard her argue about with the defendant, I couldn't contain my righteous rage. Japan won't punish her for her crimes and someone has to bring the hammer down. But he just... But they don't care because she was dead then, first. Then you really stabbed her through the wall of the hut? You're actually confessing to it? Let me hear what the court says to this. this Mama Momi, <laughs> it really was you! This country's gone to hell. An empire that lets a murderer loose just because someone else said to has no future. So I took matters into my own hands. If our spineless government won't do the deed, I'll do it myself. I plunged the blade of justice straight into her pretty little back. Damn. 
Okay, let's see if they let's see if they with the Yeah. Play, let's see if they level this out a little bit. It's the man with the duty to report the truth. I must humbly, heartfully ask for your forgiveness. Would you look at that? Someone did the deed just before I got there, huh? That doesn't matter. Now we all know who it was. That fair, admirable maiden student. H how are we? She poisoned that wretch's drink and put an end to her for good. And thanks to her, the mighty mama mummy gets off scot free. That's not how that works. That's not how that. Judge? Mm, I see. Don't you just say I see. If she was poisoned, the culprit would only have to wait for her to, for her death. There's no point in stabbing her once her death is assured. Judge. Judge. As such, this man is related to the poison. It's perfect logic. Yeah, I knew you'd all understand. Long live the Japanese Supreme Court. How is this happening? I'm asking the same question. I tried so hard to corner him, but he's still going to get away with it? I, 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 uh, oh, oh, oh. She did a smack. Uh. I want to smack the judge and But Kazuma everyone. and Naruto, they wouldn't stop facing forward until the final strike of the gavel. Oh my god. Now defense, your final cross-examination begins now. Oh yeah, just brush off attempt to murder. Yeah, no, it's fine. Evan. Yes, sir. You need to chill, my dude. Bro. Oh, bro. You keep running your hands through your hair like you're about to freaking... Face the gallows. Well, You're listen. Stressing so much. <laughs> it's not that I'm stressing. We're going to go ahead and cross examine everything next time. But listen, out of everything, out of ev we're near the end of Ace Attorney that is playable. And, and out of all the like 10 games that we have played, that is the single stupidest moment in this game. In this whole series, that is the dumbest thing that they've ever let slide. Because look who it is. It's this guy. It's Mame Momi. Well, I'm about to Mame Mo strangle your ass. That's attempted murder. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? He'll die of no oxygen first, so it wasn't my fault. Uh, you're the one that caused no oxygen. <laughs> Fucking kill me. God, I... Uh...